Right. Yeah, go ahead. Now they're stopped. Come on, guys. Come just go fill out the line. They're going to stop there at the gate. Stop there. Please stand and remain standing as I introduce our Masters of Ceremony, Devon Vineyard. Good morning. Good morning. If everyone were to please stand and remain for the Pledge of Allegiance to the National Anthem and remain standing for a moment of silence. Aye. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Kaban. Before we begin every faculty meeting, we call on a staff member for the reading of the mission statement. Today it is my turn. The mission of the Iceland Career Center is to provide quality career education programs that will transition each student from secondary education to competitive employment. Then I ask whoever reads the statement, how do you do that in your class, your position, or your program? My answer to you is we do this every day in every class at the ISO Career Center. Our staff prepares students with the job-ready skills and the soft skills such as communication, problem solving, and social skills for entry-level employment. 
They teach the students how to be able to work as part of a team. This is done by the work the students do in their classes, by the many different customer service projects completed, and the individual student and or class internship opportunities that we provide. We have also started speaking to our students about DEI, teaching them to embrace the diversity in the world and to understand that some people have been underserved and not given the same opportunities as others. We teach them the importance of equity, actively working to respond to bias, harassment, and discrimination. And we teach inclusion, that we need to bring those who have been traditionally excluded into the decision-making process to ensure equal access and opportunity. We want to teach our students to be the change that makes a difference in this world. I read a quote the other day from Louisa May Alcott that really moved me. The quote reads, I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning how to sail my ship. I got to thinking how this quote does not reference sailing or boating, but rather a reference of life. As I read the quote over and over, I concentrated on two words that resonated with me. The first word was afraid. Fear can be something that is both paralyzing and motivating. Henry Ford once said that one of the greatest discoveries a person makes, one of their greatest surprises, is to find that they can do what they were afraid they couldn't do. The mission of the Iceland Career Center is to train our students to enter the workforce. What we hear the most from our students is that they are afraid. Afraid to graduate. Afraid to enter the workforce. Some will sabotage their chances to get a job. It is not that they are unprepared for the interview or for the work. Rather, it's the fear that paralyzes them. I say this to you. You have to face your fears. You have to look inside yourself and ask yourself, what am I afraid of and why? Never let fear stop you from trying. You need to acknowledge that you are afraid, but also know that you have what it takes to face the fear head on, because you will never know if you fail or succeed unless you try. That brings me to the second word that moved me in the quote, learning. No matter what age or where we are in our lives at this very moment, we are all learning how to sail our ships in a storm named COVID. Every day since March 2019, we have learned about this COVID pandemic. We had to learn what the world was calling the new normal. We learned how to properly wear a mask, how to social distance, how to clean, and ultimately, how to live our new lives. First, our children had to learn remotely. They learned all the different distance learning platforms, such as Flipgrid, Zoom, Remind, Google Meet, just to name a few. Many of our children became the educators. We learned from them. They showed us how to download and use these online resources, and basically how to work from home as they were learning from home. I think they acclimated better than most of the adults. They made the best of a difficult situation. In September, we weren't sure what districts were going to do. Were they going to send their students in person? Was it going to be remote or a variation of the two? ICC was lucky enough to be fully in person. And yes, we needed luck on our side this entire school year. We only had to miss school six days due to the pandemic, so we were lucky. This is a testament to the hard work of our dedicated staff, you as parents and our amazing students. We met this challenge, this fear, head on. We were able to provide them education that we live by in our mission statement. The classes may have looked a little different, more spaced out, wearing a mask, but the work was still completed. It was heartbreaking to see our, our students miss the many milestone opportunities of their high school careers. But we also learned how strong our students are, and when they faced all of the challenges and changes in their lives because of COVID, they learned a valuable lesson. They learned to persevere, and they came out stronger. 
Now as they get ready to enter the adult world, we hope that it is not fear that holds them back, but learning that motivates them to move forward. They are going to learn new skills at whatever job they choose. They are going to learn about friendship. They are going to learn about love. They are going to learn that the future is something to look forward to. I want to applaud this group of graduates sitting in front of me because you guys have had a very difficult two years, but you all weathered the COVID storm, and I am sure you will weather any other storm that comes your way. All of us sitting under this tent know that because of what you faced, and how well you faced it, you are stronger, more determined, and ready to face an uncertain world, not with fear, but with wonder. I would like to congratulate each and every student sitting under this tent and wish you success in whatever path you choose. And I want to leave you with one last quote. This from one of the greatest soccer players in the world, Pele. Success is no accident. It is hard work perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or what you are learning to do. Thank you. Now we will begin our award ceremony. I would like to call up Nurse Anderson and Ms. Tahar. everybody. Ms. Tahar and I are very proud to give out this award. We are here today to recognize the student in the welding class and award him with the Robert Vetter Memorial Award. Mr. Vetter was a master welder, a welding teacher at Western Suffolk Boses, and, a, and was active in Skills USA. He was a mentor to our welding teacher, Ms. Tahar, and my lifelong friend. He always saw which students carried the passion in the field of welding, sometimes before the student recognized it themselves. These students worked hard, took welding very seriously, more than the rest of the students, and just had the skills needed for the industry. Today we recognize a student that shares those same traits. George Capaletti, please come to the stage. welding student who he can always count on to help his peers and staff. George is always willing to do a demonstration or work on a class project or a customer service project. After graduation, George plans to work in his family's business using his welding skills to repair and to fabricate welding industrial parts. We are very proud of George's accomplishments. He has shown a passion and dedication in the welding field. If Mr. Vetter was here today, he would also be very proud of him. Thank you, nurse, Mr. Har. It's not often I get to lower a microphone. Last year, when the world shut down due to COVID, the term essential employment, excuse me, essential employee became prevalent. The members of the ICC Shared Decision Making Committee discussed how all of our programs we teach are essential. So we put together an essential employee award. This award is being given to those students who demonstrated strong skills necessary in the program that they are training. The student who is receiving this award is a student in the Auto Body Repair and Refinishing Program. As a first year student, he came in as a senior who truly enjoyed working on cars. He showed such an interest and talent that as soon as we were able to send students out on our internships, his teacher, Mr. Garofolo, wanted him out in the industry. He completed his internship at Bayport Auto Body where he was such an asset to the staff that the owner could not believe he was a student and not a young professional. His goal after graduation is to find a permanent job in the field 
and has already begun the search. Mr. Garofolo states that he won't hesitate to be a reference for him as he has the skills and the talent in the field and he was a pleasure to have in class. Would Juan Amaya please come to the stage and please accept the and his acknowledgement indicates just how well the person has done. This young man started out as a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning student in a smaller class size and worked very hard to prove himself and move to a larger class. Mr. Foley states that he was very polite, extremely hardworking, and reliable. The student did exceptionally well in HVAC. This year he decided he had more of an interest in taking our health-related occupation class. Ms. Martin states that this student is always pleasant, never gets angry, is always willing to help, and is a pleasure to have in class. He shows an eagerness to learn and does well academically with the hand and with the hand-on hands-on skills needed in the health industry. He has maintained a good attendance record, a solid grade point average, and he got his driver's license and a job. He is registered for classes this fall at Suffolk Community College. We wish him the best in his future endeavors. Will Alan Cherry please come to the stage? so deserving of the Iceland Career Center most improved. When you think about what makes a student most improved, you ask yourself the following questions. Who worked so hard and made the decision to focus on school and their academics? Who was the student so determined that the staff recommended him back to his home school district from his full day BOCES academic placement? And after going back to his high school, who fought to be placed in the vehicle maintenance and light repair program because he wanted to learn as much as he could in the automotive field. So when he enlisted in the Army, he could be accepted as a wheeled vehicle mechanic where he would be working on armored and tactical vehicles. That is who you would want to be awarded the most improved student. His teacher, Mr. Erhan, states that he is headstrong and thirsty for knowledge. He has applied himself to the trade every day, taking any opportunity to further his knowledge in pursuit of his career. We couldn't be more proud of the man he has become and wish him continued success. Would Derek Hatzman please come to the stage to accept the Center's Outstanding Student Award. The recipient of this award 
didn't start out in the introduction to cooking class. She originally was enrolled in the canine careers class. She called our guidance counselor, Ms. McDivitt, in the beginning of the school year to tell her she didn't want canine and that she was, it wasn't the right fit for her. She asked if she could switch to a culinary class. She started out the year very quiet and timid. Chef Frankson, Frankson has seen her change into a confident, knowledgeable student. She actively participates in class during the lesson and continues to thrive when she's in the kitchen cooking or baking. She has been a pleasure to have in class. We only wish that she could have been a student longer than one year at the ISIP Career Center. We hope that she continues with her passion in the culinary arts and we wish her all the best in her future career. Will Jessica Alvarado please come to the stage? I was so nervous, but I was very excited to be in the canine career class. 